Hi friends, welcome to DevOps Jenkins course video series presented by Narendra from Luvik Python Technologies. In this video, we are going to see how to create Jenkins admin user. So before going to that, what is admin user generally? So for any tool or for any, uh, I mean, operating system, you are having some admin users, admin user, right? So basically, admin user is a user, in, in our case, Jenkins, right? So an admin user is a user for Jenkins who can do any administration work with Jenkins tool. See, administration work means like uh, configuration of your Jenkins, right? Install some plugins, creation of jobs, okay? creation of uh, users, right? And assigning the, some roles for the users. So he, all those things you can do if you are an admin, if you are an admin user for that tool. Okay. Then by default for your Jenkins, once if you install your Jenkins, by default the username, admin username is always admin only. Default name it is. And its password we can see at uh, in this home, whatever the Jenkins home you are having. In that you are having C creates a directory. There you are having some file. In that file, encrypted password is uh, stored. That password is the password for this admin user. See, the only thing is by default for Jenkins, you are having username as admin and its password is stored on this location. And this is the fixed one. Anybody can go and in case if, if that system is able to access by them, then anyone can, un can see the password in this location. So, as per security policy, it is not a good practice to use uh, default username as admin and that password. Then in that case, we have to create some new users. Uh, I mean, admin username other than admin. It's better practice basically, right? Then how you can create that admin user? Okay. Anyway, before going to that, okay, I want to start uh, first my Jenkins. Then I want to show what is the default admin user and where it password is stored. Okay. Okay. First of all, let me open my RHL server. See, this is my RHL server. First, I am going to create some user. This is a not for your uh, Jenkins. I am going to create a user in, on my RHL server. So, Jenkins or Gen add user. Okay. Then I am going to set some password for that. Then I am providing some password and I need to retype it for confirmation. Yeah, now it has been successfully updated. Okay. At the same time, I am going to give sudo access uh, for my user. See, nothing is there. If you want to provide sudo access, then come at the end and just paste it your username then all equals to all then no password for all actions that's it guys as of now just I created one of the user on my server Linux server now I am switching into that uh, user okay. okay now here as of now I don't have any directories on my newly created user this is for my OS and now I want to install my Jenkins, but remember that it's better practice to deploy our Jenkins always on the application server. That's why first I'm going to uh, download my uh, Tomcat server as an application server. So before going to that, I should have wget command. So for that, I'm installing first wget command. Okay, it will install. Now, meanwhile, let me open. Apache Tomcat. Okay. Go to that website, official website of Apache Tomcat. Go to download options. There you are having Tomcat 9 version, latest version. Just a download tarball. That's it. So for that, just click on Tomcat 9. Then you will you will be able to find here chip tarball. Just copy that link address, then come to your server. Now, I am going to download my Apache 
tomcat now it is a zipped tor bulb then unzip it it has been unzipped sorry now i am going to remove that tor bulb it's not a required thing now okay now we are having apache tomcat this one then we have to deploy our jenkins that var file on the top of apache tomcat so for that first you have to download your jenkins that var file so that you can download from here just go to download option okay there uh, just come down here here you will able to find var file copy that link address and come to here then download that one yes it's going to download once if it is download then we have to deploy that application on top of apache tomcat application server how you can deploy nothing is there just move your jenkins var file apache tomcat in that you are having web apps directory just move to there that's it now if you go to apache web apps here we are having jenkins that var file so that that is deployed on the top of your um, apache tomcat application server now start your apache tomcat server so that your jenkins application will be run by your apache tomcat server now let me move to bin directory for my apache there you are having start startup.sh but apache is also a java application you should have java either 1.6 1.7 or 1.8 now i am going to install first java install java 1.8 i am going i am going with 1.8 open jdk it's going to install now once it is installed then we will start our apache tomcat so that by default our application will be jenkins application will be start okay now i am going to start my apache tomcat once if it is start you yeah, know it has been started guys now you have to observe something okay before that my public address is this one now i want to access my jenkins so you can access by default apache will run on 8080 port this is as per tomcat apache guys sorry see apache tomcat is up and running so on the top of apache by default your application will be run jenkins just click on that see here you are having your administration password somewhere here we are not exported jenkins home right that's why by default jenkins home is under user home there is a hidden directory will be created dot jenkins under that secrets under that initial password in this location you are having password for your jenkins anyway before going to open this okay before going to unlock your jenkins just to go to your command line there observe something suppose uh, dot jenkins this is the default home directory in case if you are not exporting any home directory for jenkins okay now we didn't export any home directory for jenkins that's why by default this is the jenkins home directory let me move into that directory see now here you are having different directories okay one of them just observe guys i will go uh, one by one directory so in this concept as of now i am going with some directory in later videos we will go with some other directories so that finally we will cover about each and every files anyway first one is configuration about your uh, jenkins that is config.xml now let me move to plugins first as of now there are no plugins okay then come back then go to your users observe here by default there is a admin user so this is the name by default for jenkins admin username okay admin and for this password is always 
observe here so as of now we went through plugins users one more thing secrets go to cd secrets here you are having one of the file called initial admin password by default if the user is admin remember that if admin user is admin then only that password will be stored here let me see that password what is there in that so this is the encrypted password for default admin user that name is also admin now copy this and now come back to here just unlock your jenkins now it will show something that uh, install some special plugins as of now if you observe guys here we don't have any plugins in plugins directory right see we don't have anything here now if i click on this whatever the plugins is installed that information will be stored in this directory okay now i am going with that it will take some time to install uh, some default plugins so once if it is installed then you will see some updated plugins here whatever it is installing now these are the plugins that going to uh, installed by default with your jenkins not only default plugins uh, later based on your requirement if you install some new plugin that information also will store here under plugins directory okay it's almost completed now observe here in case if you don't create any username here okay continue as admin means my admin name username as admin with that only i want to continue but if you go with that always your admin user is admin and your password is always stored under initial password file so if i continue with as admin always my admin username is admin only and my password is always under this location so here with initial password initial admin password okay now observe that i am going to create a first admin user instead of admin admin i am going to create some new admin let me create uh, some admin user name i am going to take okay jenkins admin i am going to give some password for that just to confirm the password and provide the email id then save and finish once if you provide your information and if you save and finish now start using jenkins now actually you are starting this jenkins with admin user name as gen admin okay if you start with uh, your jenkins continue as a admin option here you will see your admin name anyway as of now we entered into your jenkins using our newly created jenkins admin user name gen admin okay now come back to your directory structure there you have observe something see here initial password initial admin password file is there once if you created a new admin user then that is not there here that is deleted right here there is no password that file so this is the file only for default admin user once if you create a new admin user the old admin user will be deleted and whatever the name you have provided with that only the admin user is there that's why initial admin password is not there it has been deleted and come back and go to your users option directory and observe there what are the users see gen admin this is the user name just now you have created new admin name gen admin and default admin name is deleted now from on, now onwards your admin user name is gen admin and password whatever the password you given that password okay now observe that i am going to my console i am going to log out now if you start okay your user name is you have to provide here whatever the user name you have given and it password just log in yes now you are able to log in into this with admin user as that one okay gen admin 
and this is the complete name guys this this here this is the name we have given for the admin user that is username this is the complete name full name for that user now if you want to see what are the all users are there for your uh, jenkins okay just observe here one of the option on your gui i mean user interface manage jenkins under manage jenkins just go down you are having manage users so now observe here gen admin is the admin user if you want to create a new user you can create okay just by using create user option see create user i'm going to second user just assume some password second some pass email id create user it has been created okay and likewise you can create any number of users and remember that those are not the admin users they are just simply users okay this is the admin user so using this admin user you can give some roles and responsibilities for this remaining users okay so this is the way how to create admin user for your jenkins and guys remember that in real time you should not go with the default admin username as admin because that uh, user password is always stored under secrets with initial admin password right with this file that password will be saved that's why as per security policy that is not the better good way actually to proceed with the default username that's why we have been changed that now observe here i am going to list see now second user is created because just now we created on ui second user that information again stored under your users so users is the directory under your jenkins home it consists of the number of users whatever there for your jenkins okay okay guys so this is the simple way how to create your jenkins uh, admin user for your jenkins okay okay guys thank you for watching this video do subscribe my channel so that you will get uh, notifications whenever you post some new videos okay bye